Let's, let's, <laughs> let's stay on the topic of onboarding new users. My snake has eyes, bulgy eyes, and a hat. Four looks like. Again, this is another really great example of why I think it's so interesting to watch children and how they explore the world. Because here they are exploring the world as beginners. Like, we explore a lot of stuff too, but I don't think we think we do. I th think we think we're more mature than that. But really, we're no different than a two-year-old exploring how to draw for the first time. Is it that much different from someone using, say, a CRM for the first time, who may not know what even CRM means? And so I think it's interesting to watch my daughter learn to draw. You have to imagine she's not very good at it yet. Most of her drawings are scribbles all over the page. She loves it, she loves doing it, but you can tell she probably gets a little frustrated when she's doing it because she can't do exactly what's in her head. That's why it's interesting when you see products like the Water Wow. It's basically just a book and the marker is made out of water. The book has these white pages and as you draw on it with the water, the white kind of soaks into the color background that you didn't see at first. And it's like magic. All of a sudden a beautiful picture with lots of color comes kind of forward when the water soaks through the white. My daughter loves it and it looks awesome. I've even caught me and my wife doing it a little bit. It's like kind of soothing. And it makes me wonder, like, what's so soothing about it? Well, and I, I feel like part of it is you get to create this picture without any work. It's kind of fake, but you get to feel like you're being an artist, you're drawing, you're coloring, and you're making something beautiful, even though really it's fake. But if you put yourself in my daughter's shoes, you understand why it's so important to have these experiences. She wants to see something pretty. She wants to, to have the, the you know, interaction with something like this and feel like it's successful, but it's gonna be a while before she has that success. I was actually just reading in the Wall Street Journal today that there's a lot of new research that shows that we become more motivated and we become more successful when we have little successes along the way. When we keep losing, when we keep losing, we just become demotivated. But when we can have little wins, we feel much better about trying again and trying again and trying again. And so in other words, winners become bigger winners. And so I think it's like something like this, the water wow, which is helping us become bigger winners. She gets to have a little win in which she gets to be very constrained and it gets to feel like she's making something very creative and it keeps her motivated to keep trying and keep going and keep going so that eventually she will be making her own art. It makes me think though, like how can I bring this to product design? For example, you know, when people set up high rise, I think they have a need for things like getting new leads, closing deals. And so obviously that's like, being able to achieve those things is like being able to become like the artist. And in your head, you're closing lots of deals and you're adding lots of leads and you're you know, really good at sending emails and making contacts and follow-ups. But you probably aren't yet. I think we have to remember that. I mean, I think we do a little bit of this inside High Rise and with our help sections. We have this, we now ask people when they first sign up for High Rise to send us an import. Basically, send us your file and we'll do it for you. I f we want that to feel like it's a little win. We know you probably have stuff to import to High Rise, but it's kind of complicated to import stuff. Your file might look like this and you might not have a all the right columns and everything else. It could be a major pain in the butt, but if you send it to us, we have a lot more experience doing it and we will import your file. I want it to feel like magic. So we send out these onboarding emails and that's the first thing we ask people is, can you send me your, in any import you're trying to import? We'll do it for you. I think WaterWow is just a really nice implementation of this. But there's a lot of these. Like I used to have these kind of things when I was a kid. We probably all did, right? Imaginary ink or what do they call this? It's like almost invisible ink. Like you, you get a book, you have one marker and it, whatever kind of chemical you put on this thing, all of a sudden color starts coming out. Very similar kind of concept. But I think we can still do a much better job at High Rise. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, you know, basically providing almost a fake experience. Like, hey, why don't you send an email to these 10 fake people so you can feel what it's like sending a bulk email. Maybe it's, hey, here are 10 potential leads or deals that are around and close them so you feel what it's like to like win money and close a deal. 
I don't know what it, it is yet. We have some ideas, but I think it might be more important than I've given it so far to provide an experience like the Water Wow has done for Addison. No offense to this one. I do like the Water Wow version better, the technology, because this thing kind of smells. Can we, can we do a Water Wow one again? Do we have any more Water Wow ones? Giving her a magical experience, even though it's slightly fake, but it's a little bit of a win. And a little bit of a win is going to encourage her to do more and more and more. What happened? Did I close the book on you? Okay, go start it again. <laughs> You're so goofy. If you dig these stories and if you dig this YouTube channel, please hit the thumbs up. I could use all the help I can get spreading this thing. And if you are new here, I upload a new video every single day talking about product design and marketing and building a business and running a family. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.